I am also in a space where I just don't care to distract with, I don't know, I'm just like living life. Courtney and Travis have had a platonic relationship for years, and they've been friends and family friends for a very long time. But recently, something sparked and their relationship has turned romantic. A source tells ET, quote, Courtney and Travis are in love and have talked about their future and the possibility of getting engaged and married. If you could say anything to Courtney or, or Kim at this point, um, what would you what would you say to them? Thanks for uh, destroying my family. What? Hey everyone, and welcome back to Exposing SMG. We've been talking about a lot of celebrity couples as of late, and I thought it'd be only appropriate to talk about Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Barker's spontaneous relationship. It's an interesting pairing, and everyone was confused when they came out of nowhere. When it comes to a Kardashian, there is always insane gossip behind it. Be sure to request more celebrity couples you want us to talk about, and we'll cover them. So if you're new to the world of Courtney and Travis, fear not and let me fill you in. First, I'm gonna run through some background information and then we're gonna talk about three scandalous facts about Courtney and Travis's relationship. A quick rundown of important background information. Courtney and Travis have known each other for years. The two have lived in the same gated community in Calabasas, California. They have even been spotted out together on numerous occasions, including in 2018, when they grabbed dinner and later attended an evening church service. Travis and his ex-wife, Shanna Mochler, have even made appearances on Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Courtney has made headlines for her dramatic on-again and off-again relationship with Scott Disick, which lasted from 2005 to 2015. She was then dating model Eunice Benjima from 2016 to 2018. Following her 2018 break with Eunice, Courtney had a fling with actor and model Luca Sabat. The two were rumored to be an item back in September 2018 and were spotted out together a number of times, fueling romance speculation. As for Travis and his ex-wife, Shanna, the duo has had a rather interesting history. On October 30, 2004, they had a gothic-style wedding ceremony inspired by the film The Nightmare Before Christmas, which was held on the eve of Halloween. They had two children together and appeared in a reality television series called Meet the Barkers, which aired on MTV from 2005 to 2006. After nearly two years of marriage, Travis filed for divorce from Shanna on August 8, 2006. The two have had a rocky relationship throughout the years when they tried to get back together and then were on again, off again, until the divorce was finalized in 2008. In 2014, the police were called to their shared home in LA after the former couple was involved in a verbal altercation. In 2015, Travis went on to date Rita Ora for a brief amount of time, and by January 2021, it was confirmed that Travis and Courtney are in a relationship. Now, let's get to the scandalous tea. Number 1. For years, Travis was crushing on Kim Kardashian, Courtney's younger sister. The past will always haunt celebrities since there is always some sort of information documented on them. In Travis's case, it's his comments swooning over Kim Kardashian. Since Travis and Courtney started dating, comments made about Kim in 2015 have been revisited. In a 2015 interview with Us Weekly, Travis said, How could you not stare at Kim? Mind you, I enjoyed hanging out with Paris, but I love curvy girls. Kim was eye candy. I was no way disrespectful to Paris, but I couldn't keep my eyes off Kim. He spoke about how he met Kim through Paris Hilton, whom he was dating at the time. He said that Kim got all of Paris' belongings together whenever they traveled. He said that he used to go out to lunch all the time together because they lived in the same neighborhood. At the time, Kim even asked for advice because he had experience being on a reality TV show. Travis's 2015 interview continued and he said, I had a crush on her and we were flirtatious but nothing ever happened. To this day, Travis says that there is no explanation for why. I don't know, he says with a laugh. She was so kind and polite. I just feel like being a perfect gentleman around her. It was a trip. Now, when this information resurfaced in May 2021, a source told Page Six that he was joking when he made the remarks. Mm-hmm. Sure. 
The insider told Page Six, anyone who is close to them has always known that Travis has been in love with Courtney forever, not Kim. They are madly in love and best friends. Everyone in their circle couldn't be happier for them. I don't doubt that, but I also don't believe that his comments about Kim were him just joking. He flat out said that he was crushing on Kim and even while with Paris, that didn't stop him from staring at her. Do you guys find it weird that Travis was so public about his crush on Kim and is now dating Courtney? Or do you find it normal and not that big of a deal? Let me know in the comments down below. Number 2. Travis's ex-wife Shanna accused Kim and Travis of having an affair years ago and then accused Courtney of breaking up their family. Then Shanna's kids blasted her on social media. This part is kind of crazy so prepare yourselves. Shanna claimed that she ended her marriage to Travis because he cheated on her with Kim. However, a source told Page Six that's not true. The affair rumor spread like wildfire when Shanna and Travis's daughter Alabama took to her Instagram story to blast her mother and say that she was never completely in her life and was not an amazing mom. Yikes. First, Alabama posted a video of herself lip-syncing Kalani's song, The Letter in May. The lyrics read, And every girl needs a mother, and damn it, I needed you. Instead, you dug for cover, and you ran from the truth. And like kids do, you waited around for proof. In a different video, she also wrote, I cut off family too. They do you the dirtiest. Then she shared a screenshot of a direct message reportedly written by Shanna that read in part, I divorced Travis because I caught him having an affair with Kim. Now he's in love with her sister. It's all gross. I'm not the bad guy. The message that Alabama shared also shows Shanna calling Travis emotionally abusive and that she can't compete with her kids when he purposely alienates them away from her. Alabama also comments and says that her mom's current boyfriend, Matthew Rondu, is apparently cheating on her. In April 2021, their son Landon wrote via Instagram that his mother could do better than date Matthew, and he called a photo of Courtney and Travis true love. Shanna replied to these claims by no, not talking to her kids, but rather going to Us Weekly and calling the claims they made hurtful and heartbreaking. During a quick Q&A with TMZ, Shanna claimed that recent accusations of being an absentee mother made by both her children, Landon and Alabama, didn't begin until my ex started dating a certain person. This has all started since my ex started dating a certain person, and you know, it's just, it's, you know, it's, it's hard. So, yeah. Yeah. She said, my family's broken because of this family, and now my kids and I are alienated from each other because of another sister in the family. So yay for me. My family's broken because of this family, and now my kids and I are alienated from each other because of another sister in the family, so yay for me. When asked if she had any last words for Courtney and Kim, Shanna replied, Thanks for destroying my family, twice, before walking off. Shanna hasn't been shy when it came to commenting about Courtney and Travis's relationship, but it seems like she has a hidden motive here. At first, she seemed to be all cool with it in February when she told Us Weekly that she has no ill will toward Courtney and Travis. She elaborated and said, As long as she's great to my kids and they're both happy, I'm happy for them. I absolutely am super happy for them. I think they've been friends for a really long time. My kids seem to really like her and they all seem to be in a good place. And I'm in a good place, so it's good. Then, when her kids started criticizing her parenting on social media, that's when it seems like Shanna started retracting her happiness for Courtney and Travis and instead tried exposing anything she can, such as Kim apparently breaking up her family in the first place. She even called Travis and Courtney's PDA weird and finds that the new couple's interests seem to parallel her and Travis's relationship. On the other hand, it's been confirmed that Travis and his children will be appearing on the new Hulu show Focus on the Kardashian Family. It definitely feels as if Shanna is experiencing jealousy because Courtney's kids and Travis's kids get along very well. They were literally spotted all together at Disneyland a few days ago. So I guess she's feeling isolated? What do you guys think? Do you believe that Kim originally broke up Shanna and Travis? Or is Shanna just hopping on the bandwagon and trying to secure some publicity points by trash talking the Kardashians? Number 3. Travis and Courtney's Excessive PDA 
One of the main reasons that people talk about Travis and Courtney nowadays is because of their excessive PDA. Throughout the years, the two have been in separate relationships, but nothing really comes close to the amount of PDA we get from Travis and Courtney. Whether it's lovey-dovey social media comments or intense PDA all over the place or uh, finger sucking, the two have really taken responsibility for letting us know just how much they're all attracted to each other. I don't think that the two are fake by any means, and I genuinely believe that they are the cliche friends turned to lover story, but I also believe that they adore the attention. They're both in their early 40s, and yet their PDA is very high school-like, which makes me feel like they miss the idea of being young and free. I don't think anything is wrong with their PDA or their age, I mean they're both good looking, and when you look at Courtney and Travis, they're not exactly the image of modest mature adults, so it's not like the PDA takes away from an image like that. I definitely feel like they love the attention and the drama that comes with it. As for Travis's ex-wife Shanna, I think she's clinging on any sort of relevance that she can and it definitely hits home that her kids are basically choosing their father's girlfriend over their mother. Part of me feels like she's lashing out because of that jealousy while also thirsting for that same attention. I want to know what you think though so be sure to comment down below. Do you think that Travis and Courtney are going to hit us with an engagement announcement anytime soon or no? Let me know. Also, do you think it's weird that the whole Kim situation that I explained and do you believe it? Let me know as well. Be sure to like and subscribe for more and as always, I'll see you next time.